Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I just wanted to show a very useful resource if you are being affected by red tide in your area. This is on FWC's website. They actually have a map that shows where they have taken samples for red tide and where it's more prevalent. That way, if you are trying to plan a trip, you can plan it based on, you know, where the red tide is not as abundant so you can increase your chances of actually finding fish. So this is the FWC website. You go to myfwc.com and if you scroll down or you can just type it in the site search, you will see a red tide daily sample map. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. That is going to pull up this red tide uh, current status map and as you can see all of these dots along the coastline are areas where they have taken samples of the water for red tide and based on the legend over here you know when you see these gr uh, gray dots that is areas where you know they have taken samples and red tide is not prevalent in those locations when you start getting into the yellows, oranges, and reds, that is where red tide is more prevalent. So as you can see, as you get closer to the Tampa Bay area, pretty much from about Spring Hill down to Sarasota, just south of Sarasota, that is where red tide seems to be more concentrated, higher amounts of red tide in that area. And as you get further back in the Tampa Bay, you can see those are gray dots, they've taken samples, and there's really no red tide in that area. So you can really use this map as a tool to help you figure out you know, where, sh where you should be targeting fish if you are fishing in the area. I personally, I would just avoid fishing in this location anywhere along the west coast because even though you know these samples have been taken and it's not showing red tide in the area, red tide could have already hit that location and it's moved on and you know it's still recovering so ideally I would either go north or south or even you know pack up and fish on the east coast to get away from red tide we do not have red tide on the east coast of Florida so you can get away from it that way so again just wanted to share this useful tool and resource to help you plan your trip accordingly so that you're not fishing in areas that are getting you know hit really bad by red tide and right below this video if you are watching this video on YouTube I highly recommend going to our main site at saltstrong.com to the actual blog uh, article where down below this video you'll see a link to this map so you can get quick access to it. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.